Well, we're doing this because we want to be able to uh, actually view our lungs with the uh, the COVID-19 being there. It almost seems like this virus has some kind of intelligence to it. I know it sounds crazy, but like it, like it almost knows where the weakness is in the body, where you might have a problem, you know, if it's your lungs or if it's your heart. But all of a sudden, it attacked nothing else in my body, but my two thighs, where I normally get, you know, cramps. Not sure, but it it just seems like a really sneaky virus that uh, attacks the weakness that a person may have in their body. I, I went to a trade show in uh, in Vegas. Uh, it was towards the end of January. It's an international trade show. I cannot tell you how many people I know that after the trade show, they did not feel well. Uh, they felt like uh, they had the flu, they had the aches, uh, hurting. Now, so many people from that trade show left and came home uh, not feeling well. Uh, so when I landed at uh, JFK, Halfway through my flight, I started to feel cold. By the time I landed, I had 102 plus fever. You know, they did some testing. They thought I had the flu, but I mean, who knows? Uh, you know, they, I don't think back then they knew what they were looking for and what they weren't. I think what you hear uh, in the news and stuff, we have to really test a tremendous amount of people to really get a handle on it. And I truly believe that when we do this testing, we're going to find out that uh, uh, that many, many people have tested positive for this virus, without a doubt. There's a lot of thought that went uh, went into designing this machine. You could see that, and and it's very, very. Uh, easy to use. We're looking at the lungs uh, from different positions. Uh, we're also looking at the heart. We were looking at the kidney and we were also looking at the liver. We're looking at more of the, the lungs and stuff if this virus is basically attacking and uh, let's say you may have fluid in your lungs and not be aware of it. What was really nice and what was really easy is that when I, when I was using the probe, I have uh, Mike Baltech that I was getting trained from in South Dakota and he's basically telling me okay move the probe to the left to the right and he's able to see that image but then actually if he wanted to hit the record button and was actually recording what the ultrasound was doing and saved all the images so now you you're able to actually consult somebody in Italy and actually see your image at the same time with your own doctor here in New York and come up with a diagnosis or a recommendation for you. It's so portable and easy to bring around. You know, you're not bringing a huge piece of equipment when you're in a hospital uh, to someone's bedside. You're bringing, in reality, uh, a laptop size. And that's it. And, and you don't have to take the patient out of his room bring him downstairs to scan him, you know, with an MRI or a CT scan or something like that. 